What's up everyone, Colby here with Colby's Cards, and today I'm gonna to be going through this hobby box that I just got of 2021 archives. Um, today, at, at least the day I'm filming, is December, what is today, the 23rd, so Christmas Eve Eve, for those of you that celebrate. Um, and I did just get this today as a gift actually, which is super nice. Um, and as many of you know, uh, I have already opened one of these on the channel. Um, but I really love archives a lot this year specifically, um, and looking forward to it, you know, in years for the future, uh, as long as they come out with it with tops losing the rights, but I'm not going to spend too much time, uh, on the box. I'm just going to go ahead and open this up and start going through. Uh, one thing that we are guaranteed is two autographs, uh, which is super nice. Uh, in the box and then we also have this box topper which the last time mine was a little bit damaged this one's a little bit creased there which is fine because they also just bend it in half to put it in anyway uh, but this is the boys of zimmer so you know you have ryan sandberg andre dawson and greg maddox on there and clearly a play on the boys of summer um, but speaking of Don Zimmer there, I don't even know where to put that. So uh, the packs in here are a little bit shifted around, which is kind of annoying, but also kind of doesn't really matter because I'm taking them all out anyway. So go ahead and get these all out. These all are for myself, um, which is why I took the plastic off and everything beforehand. I go ahead and show you the empty box anyway. Um, go ahead and close this up. I'll put it in the back. We'll actually put this back here as well. That's something to look at. So I'm going to mix these up a little bit because I don't want the auto to come in like the first pack or anything crazy. We'll just go with that there. So there are a lot of packs. Um, there are 24 packs with eight cards per pack. Um, there's no, like, bonus packs or anything. The bonus was that movie poster there. Um, these also are, like, notoriously difficult to open, which is unfortunate. Uh, I had trouble with them in the first video as well, and I know many of you did. If you've opened this, both from the blaster as well as from the hobby box. Uh, let me go ahead and set that aside. So, like I said, two guaranteed autographs per box. Uh, hoping for more, obviously, but we'll see what we get. Um, so starting off with Eric Hosmer, Dallas Braden, got Gary Carter throwback, Jose Abreu, Jemai Jones rookie card. We've got a nice Nate Pearson uh, bazooka, shine, bazooka shining star rookie card there. A 2011 design of Larry Walker. And Roy Campanella is our last card. This is the 2001 design. Um, so the different years, oh gosh, if I can remember, um, I don't even know if it says it on the box. Let me see if I have it listed here while I'm opening these. I, own, I, I know there's 20, 2001, 2011. Uh, the 2091 is like the, the futures looking card. This is Truthfully, I, I, I'm not as much of an expert. Um, 60, okay, so there's 62, 73, 83. I think this is 83. Uh, 91, 2001, 2011, and the 2091 Futures card. So uh, definitely quite a few different designs going on in this set. Oops, I bumped the camera. All right, let's just keep rolling here. Uh, so we got Davey Garcia rookie card. There's a nice Chipper Jones. Uh, there are variations as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's Adrian Beltre and Joey Bart rookie card. Murderer's Row with Lou Gehrig and Babe Ruth from the Yankees on it. This is one of the insert cards. This is the um, movie poster insert, like similar to how you can pull this Boys of Zimmer movie poster insert as well. There's a Shane McClanahan and a Frank Robinson. Uh, there are, like I was saying before, there are variations to these cards or like short prints and stuff. They're a little bit more difficult. So the variations and parallels and stuff aren't as difficult because they're 
different colors or different bordered colors, whatever. Um, some of the, the short prints are a little hard to tell because they're like, there's a nice Andrew Vaughn rookie, because they're like tinted green or have, I don't know, different like little emblems on them. Um, so they can be a little bit more difficult. Here's a 91 design. Here's a nice Ryan Mountcastle rookie card. That's the floating head design there. Pavin Smith. And honestly, if you're not familiar, which I'm sure most of you are if you're watching this video, uh, the 2011 design is notorious for having the uh, 2011 update rookie card for Mike Trout. So that's obviously a very known design. And these are the ones of the 2091. So you can see up here, it's 140 years of tops, which is what it would be. In 2091, um, Trey Turner in a Dodgers uniform, and then Kyle Lewis there. Uh, these are interesting. I know they're not very popular. I mean, I think they're fine. They're not great, but they're not like, I don't know. I highly doubt. First of all, who knows if Tops is going to even have the rights in 2091 with them losing them in, what is it, 2025? I think they're losing the rights, but, you know, I think we'll get there when we get there. Uh, here is... Marcus Stroman, and there's like a lot of stuff coming out of these. They're like shedding almost, <laughs> seems like. Uh, Marcus Stroman, here we've got Starling Marte. Uh, really like Starling Marte. I'm a huge Pirates fan. Uh, really loved when he was on the Pirates. Just a huge Starling Marte fan all around. Um, so really excited to get this one. Trevor Story, Ozzie Smith, Lorenzo Cain. Here's a movie poster card of the Black Aces. Uh, so you can see we've got Bob Gibson, CeCe Sabathia, Vita Blue, Fergie Jenkins, er, geez, Fergie Jenkins, uh, Dontrell Willis, Dwight Gooden, or Doc Gooden, and Dave Stewart. Another movie poster. Here's a 2091 of Bob Feller and JT Romito, 2001. So still looking for our two autos. Hopefully they don't come too soon. I like to make them, you know, last a little bit, I guess. A little suspense is always a good thing. All right, so we've got Brooks Robinson, Ahmed Rosario, got Paul Molitor, and I see red coming up. That's exciting. Willie Adames. Oh, this is a nice card. Rookie card, red parallel of Jonathan India. Obviously, this year's NL Rookie of the Year winner. So I'm going to put this maybe, in a sleeve there. We can actually put that in the back. I don't have any card stands. I need to get some card stands. I also need some more top loaders, but uh, here's Kirby Puckett, Hank Aaron, very nice, and Miguel Cabrera. So, you know, that pack was super easy to open. It doesn't make any sense. Alrighty. So we've got Mariano Rivera on the front. Kevin Biggio, kind of looking like over his shoulder there. Frank Thomas, one of my all-time favorite players, the Big Hurt. There's Shane Bieber. Joe Maurer. We've got Alex Kirilov, nice rookie card there. And here's the emblem, um, the different emblem there. So a lot, the, the original emblem, emblem, excuse me, has 40 years of tops because that's what it was in 91. Uh, this has the 70 years of tops, obviously, because 2021 is the 70th year of tops. Uh, so there is the emblem change from 40 to 70. So uh, just, you know, keep a lookout for those. Um, and that's a nice rookie card there of Alex Kirilov. Here's one of those 2091 cards. Again, 140 years of Nolan Arenado and Zach Gallen. Uh, last time when I opened these up, my autos were... Who were my autos? They were, it was John Cruck for the Phillies. And uh, my second one wasn't even a baseball player. It was Lauren Shihadi. Uh, I think she works with MLB Network, if I'm not mistaken, as a reporter for them. Uh, obviously, like, pretty cool, like, still to have her auto. But, you know, you're, you're kind of hoping for a, uh, <laughs> a baseball player. When you're opening baseball cards, that's what, kind of what you want. So... Hoping that we can do the same. There's a nice Anthony Rizzo design there. That's the, is this the 62, I believe? Um, let's see, Tom Glavin. Sorry, I was looking at my screen. I have my screen up just to keep a lookout for any numbered cards or anything like that or what they would be out of. Mookie Betts. Here's a nice shining star bazooka of Jazz Chisholm Jr. 
I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that up because he is a good rookie card to have. It's a little off center, um, up and down. I mean, I guess this thing kind of goes up there a little bit, but whatever. Um, could be worse. There's Colton Long and Kyle Hendricks. Jeez, these packs are all kinds of weird here. Carlos Correa, he is a cheater. Uh, Joe Carter, George Brett. There's a nice Adam Frazier. Uh, really miss him in Pittsburgh. Obviously, he was traded to the Padres for the second half of the season after the All-Star game. And now he signed with Seattle, so that'll be interesting. There's a nice Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, Tim Anderson, Reese Hoskins, 2001, and a Pee Wee Reese throwback, 2001. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, definitely miss Adam Frazier. He was a definitely a star... Uh, for us on the Pirates, I mean, obviously he went to the Padres and I mean, with Jake Cronenworth being the solid rookie that he is, and I mean, Frazier can also play the outfield, but now that Tatis can also play the outfield, like, I just don't think he had a long-term shot at staying in San Diego, but what do I know? Um, so this is Alex Bregman. Let's see, Andre Dawson, that's a throwback card. There's a Clark Schmidt rookie. Got Steven Strasburg throwing the ball in the air there. Here's a nice Juan Soto floating head. Um, I did see who, I think it was actually Eric Jabs from Jabs Family, pulled this in an autograph. Uh, so a nice Juan Soto autograph would have been really sweet. That would have been awesome. Uh, there's a Dylan Carlson rookie. Carlos Delgado throwback 2001. And a Carl Yastrzemski, obviously a throwback there grandfather of Mike Yastrzemski, who plays now for the Giants. All right, Christy Mathewson, huge throwback there. That's pretty cool. Long, long time throwback, I should say. I shouldn't say like a huge throwback. Uh, Keston Hira, got Todd Helton for the Rockies. So Tim Salmon, two throwback players in a row. Here's a Dylan Carlson. 70-year uh, Bazooka rookie card. Got Mike Soroka, Dion Sanders. I remember watching him play. And Roger Clemens. So we're almost halfway through. There's a lot of a lot of packs in these boxes, which I really like. I like I like ripping more packs than not. <laughs> I guess I guess everyone does. Um, and again, I mean it's super fun to be guaranteed two autographs. Uh, again, I mean, the, the checklist of autos is pretty long in this product. Um, so, I mean, it can it can kind of range, you know, who knows if you're going to get a good one or not. But I guess we'll see when we come to it. Here, I'm going to start a second base pile. Uh, so here's Casey Mize, rookie card. There's Alex Verdugo. Blake Snell. Fergie Jenkson, Jenkins. I keep saying his name wrong. Fergie Jenkins throwback. There's a Spencer Howard rookie card. I have his auto from Gold Label. There's a nice Bobby Dalbeck rookie card, 2016 draft pick. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that one up because that's a nice card. I am also a big Red Sox fan. If you haven't heard me say that before, if you're new to the channel. The Jesus Sanchez rookie card and a 2091 design of Giancarlo Stanton. Fun fact, Giancarlo Stanton's cards used to read Mike Stanton when he first came up to the big leagues, um, but that has since obviously changed. There's a nice Akil Badu rookie card. Um, sorry about that. I'm looking to try to see what the years were for these cards. I can't... So, no. Okay, wait. So... 83, so this is the 83 design. I'm trying to get these straight. So 83 is this one here. Obviously, 2091 is the future card. Uh, 62 is like the wood grain that has the label peeling up. So we have one of those coming up. There's Joey Votto. Uh, Joey Votto, this is a... I'm trying to think. Gosh, these are, they're all over the place. All right, so this is a 73. It has like the silhouette down there at the bottom. Here's an Aaron Judge card. That, okay, so this is the 50, 52 or 57 design, maybe? I'm trying to look it up here. 
quickly. Uh, six, oh yeah, 57. Okay, so I was right the first time. 57. Uh, here's a nice Walker Bueller. Bryce Harper, floating head. That's a cool one. Uh, Babe Ruth. I feel like the, the floating heads, they, they would look good with an auto. Like right below the, the face. I mean, they're kind of a weird looking card, but with an auto, it would definitely look really cool. Uh, Babe Ruth. We've got Jeff McNeil and a 90, uh, 2091 of Whit Merrifield. All right, so we are halfway through. I'm going to move this. I'll keep Jonathan Media up there. All right, so we're halfway through. Um, if you haven't yet, definitely check out, um, well, wait till after the video to check out my channel, but certainly hit that subscribe button because it's not hurting anybody to do so. <laughs> um, also, while you're at it, I do upload every Monday and Thursday, so be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified of when my uploads are coming. Uh, here's a nice Jared Kelnick, 91 design rookie card. There's a Brady Singer, uh, Jamer Candelario for the Tigers. Jose Ramirez, a really solid player there for the Indians, um, soon to be Guardians for the upcoming season, or, and for the future seasons. Uh, Jared Walsh, oh, that's a nice card. Mike Trout, floating head, that would have been sick with an auto. Probably would have been worth a ton of money. Not okay, maybe not a ton of money, but worth <laughs> worth some good uh, chunk of change there. Ted Williams, twenty ninety one, and a two uh, twenty eleven of George Springer. Still weird to see George Springer in a Blue Jays. Like I know he's been there for a few seasons at this point, or maybe at least a season, but uh, I still think of him as an Astro. All right, here is Nico Horner for the Cubs. Uh, we've got Ronald Acuna Jr. That's a cool card. Victor Robles. Xander Bogarts. And Aloy Jimenez. And here's our first autograph. I kind of ruined it there. Uh, it is Shannon Stewart from the Twins. So that's a nice throwback on card. Look at that autograph, too. That's a really sick auto. Uh, you can always tell, like, some of the older guys, your, you know, veteran players and older guys and retired players and things like that, they take their time. Like, they take a little pride in their autograph. Um, there's the back of the card there. So it doesn't say, like, congratulations or anything, but it does have that fan favorites stamp on there. Uh, Shannon Stewart obviously played with the Twins for quite a while, but that's our first auto, so that's very nice. Um, better than, like, a an, an anchor from MLB Network or something. No offense to Lauren Jihadi, but, again, still wish to see those on-card autos be actual baseball players, but uh, definitely see better autos, at least in quality and like penmanship from the veteran players, those older players. So definitely happy to have that one, Shannon Stewart. There's a nice Liam Hendricks, Mike Piazza. We've got Max Kepler, Joe Adele rookie card. Here's a big three movie poster card of uh, Barry Zito, Tim Hudson, and Mark Mulder, pitchers, all pitchers for the Oakland Athletics. Here's Dave Winfield for the Padres, 2001 design. There's a Zach Granke, 140 years of tops, 2091, and a Luis Robert pulling up the back. Luis Robert, obviously, that's his second year card. He was a rookie back in 2020. Let's see if I can get these open. All right, so we've got Frankie Lindor here on the front. Willie Sargel, throwback there for the Pirates. Very cool card. Jonathan India, here's his base rookie card out of this set. So you can see there the red parallel. I'd actually think the red should be numbered. Uh, I don't think I looked at that before. So yeah, that's actually 9 out of 75. Very nice numbered card there. Shannon Stewart's trying to make a run for it here. There we go. Uh, so Jonathan India, rookie card there. That's the base variation. We've got Tristan McKenzie and Jermaine Mercedes. Here's our other auto. I'm going to actually save that. Um, it does look like a player, though, so that's a good thing. Uh, we've got Will, Will the Thrill Clark, 2001 design, and Anthony Rendon. So now at this point, obviously, we know our second autograph is under here. Uh, we're going to be looking for any color variations, short prints, things like that. 
Uh, probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Uh, here's a Clayton Kershaw 57 design. Uh, we've got Pedro Martinez in his Mets uni. Matt Chapman for the A's. Brandon Crawford. Chris Bubich, rookie. There's an Alex Rodriguez throwback for the Rangers. Uh, Don Mattingly, Mattingly, Donnie Baseball for the Yankees. And Orlando Cepeda, 2001 design card. All right, can't get this one open. Always try to be gentle with the cards when I'm opening them. All right, we've got Lou Brock on the front of this pack. We've got a Jordan Alvarez second year card. Or is that a third year? I can't remember if he was a rookie in 20 or 19. Uh, Nolan Ryan. There's a nice JT Brubaker rookie card there. A Mike Schmidt throwback. Here's a bazooka, another bazooka shining star of Braylon Marquez with the 70 year stamp there, rookie card. Yadier Molina, future Hall of Famer in my opinion, or deserves to be. And Luis Garcia. Obviously, Yadi Molina doesn't have the best offensive numbers, but, I mean, probably one of the best defensive catchers there has been. Um, kind of up there, I don't want to say better than Pudge Rodriguez, but certainly up there in the ranks. Uh, there's a nice Luke Voigt card. Larry Doby. And a Honus Wagner. Is that a Honus Wagner? Yeah, it's really hard to see, actually. It's better to see... Had this trouble last time I opened this too. The yellow is really hard to see in person. It actually shows up better on camera, which is interesting. Uh, throwback of Jeff Bagwell, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., a Rafi Devers. And that one's actually scuffed up a little bit there down on his first name. It's pretty, pretty rough looking. Uh, David Peterson rookie card for the Mets. And Adolis Garcia. I'm getting antsy. I'm, I'm really curious who that second... Uh, auto is going to be. Hopefully it's somebody good. Maybe a rookie auto. Maybe I'd honestly rather have like a throwback auto. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Paul DeYoung. Gary Sheffield. A Greg Maddox, the professor, not with his glasses on there. Um, Lou Gehrig for the Yankees. Mookie Betts. It's a nice floating head card design. Uh, Trevor Rogers, rookie card got Vita Blue in his notorious wind-up there, and Devin Williams, and again, this one has some rubbed off. Let's, I don't even know if it would be rubbed off on the back of this card, but um, certainly rubbed off name plate there on that card, so kind of annoying. Obviously, quality control with tops, not the uh, highest for those 2001 card, or 2011 cards. There is Cattell Marte. Got Ryan Sandberg. That would be a nice card to do. I know he does through the mail autographs for some of you that enjoy that. There's a Willie Castro. Trent Grisham. Sam Huff rookie card. And here is the card version of that movie poster of the Boys of Zimmer with Ryan Sandberg, Dawson, and Maddox on it. Uh, I've got Christian Yelich 2011 and Evan Longoria 2001. So three packs left. And then we'll go ahead and reveal that auto at the end. Keep a little suspense, mostly for myself, because, you know, I like to be a little surprised. Um, here are, it looks like we've got some sort of foil coming up. So here's a Ryan Mountcastle rookie card. A John Smoltz, young John Smoltz, very young John Smoltz. Um, Jose Altuve, also a cheater. Salvador Perez, and our... Foil board here is Mark McGuire in his Cardinals uniform. Um, not a numbered card. Oh, yes, it is a numbered card. Sorry about that. That is a... Is that a 33 out of 150? 33 out of 150. Foil. Um, is that the 67 design? Actually, I think I have it in front of me. 62, not 67. Sorry about that. Put that up here since it is numbered. Jonathan India now trying to make a run for it. And we've got another Braylon Marquez rookie, Dick Allen, and Josh Donaldson, another one with his name kind of rubbed off. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, certainly appreciate it. Um, definitely, I know I said this before, but definitely check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Uh, would really like it if you subscribed, if you're a baseball card fan or just a card fan in general. Um, 
I've also been trying to think about how I could potentially get into doing breaks for other people, um, whether it's you know, starting up a site or doing it through blowout cards or Patreon or something like that. Um, Cause honestly, like everything that I've done on the channel this far has been all for my PC. I just love baseball cards. I love everything about the hobby. Um, I love opening packs. And if I'd be able to, you know, even get hits for other people, like that would make me happy. So let me know if you'd be interested, like certainly let me know in the comments um, and I'd be down to try to get that set up for all of you guys. Here's a bazooka rookie of Jared Kelnick. And here's a 19, nope, 2091 rather, Hyunjin Ryu and a Bobby Dalbeck rookie card in that 2011 variation. And our last pack here, before we get to the autograph, see if we can get any more color uh, parallels or anything. I've got a huge stash of empty packs to my left here. Uh, here's a nice rookie of Kohei Arihara. Javier Baez in his Mets uniform, just signed with the Tigers right before the lockout. Uh, Edgar Martinez, classic. Will Craig, rookie card. Got a nice picture of Byron Buxton there. David Fletcher for the Angels. William Contreras, younger brother of Wilson Contreras. And Jim Palmer. So let's go ahead and see who our autograph is going to be. So it's going to be, oh, it's nice. It's going to be on one of those shining stars. It's probably going to be a rookie. Um, that's 70 years of tops. It is a Oakland Athletic. It's not a rookie, I don't think, because the rookie thing would be up there. Who is that? <laughs> it's a Jose Canseco. Okay, very cool. Um, I'm laughing because I pulled a Jose Canseco out of 2020, I think it was 2021 update. Um, so now this is my second Jose Canseco auto. Uh, this is not numbered or anything because it's a base autograph, but still really cool. So it, it does have that shining star. It's the bazooka card. Uh, they are on card, which I, I certainly like. So obviously Shannon Stewart over here is also on card. Um, as they all slide down. But here's our two autos. So Shannon Stewart for the Twins, and we've got a Shining Star Bazooka card of Jose Canseco. Um, very cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, the other two hits of the box, I guess you could say, are this these two parallels. Um, so the red variation of Jonathan India, numbered to 75. It's a 9 of 75. And then we've got our Mark McGuire foil board card. Uh, this is numbered 33 of 150 up in the top right. So again, thank you very much for sticking around for this 27 minute video. Uh, certainly appreciate you watching. Check out the channel and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.